can't follow that. I'm so sorry. I know. <laughs> I don't have a baby or a pet. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is Linda from um, Sphere Mail. Um, Sphere Mail is passionate about the belief that there is a better way to manage physical mail. Their revolutionary cloud-based software platform has uh, it was initially developed in 2011 to address the unique mail handling needs of the co-working industry. So thank you, Linda. Yes. Okay. So what I'd like to do, uh, there's actually two of us today. There's myself and there's Blanca. And Blanca's from our sales organization. She's uh, on standby. She's actually going to give a demo, a live demo of our software. But what I'd like to do is just uh, just familiarize everybody with uh, Sphere Mail. And before we get started, I have a short presentation, but before we get started, I'd just like to say that it's really exciting to be here. I am a commercial real estate professional licensed in the state of California. I've attended some of the CRE tech um, events previously in Los Angeles uh, in person. Of course, that was a different time. And uh, I'm here now really excited to be presenting to you on behalf of Sphere Mail. And I joined Sphere Mail in 2020 when um, the commercial real estate sector <laughs> for office uh, came to a screeching halt and uh, Sphere Mail was seeing some accelerated growth due to the pandemic of which uh, really has a connection back to commercial real estate in the office, um, office market. So what I'm going to do is just um, share my screen so that I can just share with you my presentation. And let me just find it here. Sorry about that. Bear with me because I cannot find it here. Okay, can you see my screen? We can, yes. Okay, excellent. <laughs> Let me just get this out of the way here. Okay. So sorry about that delay, uh, technical difficulties, which seems to be the norm when we try to do everything online these days. But Sphere Mail, we are virtual office software. We are recreating the office environment. And our founder is uh, Hassan Merjan. And Hassan has a vision for redesigning the office for a new era. As a founder and CEO, uh, Hassan is a technologist and a commercial real estate inve investor by profession. He also owned and operated four co-working locations. At the time, this is up in Northern California, at the time he quickly recognized an opportunity to improve the workflow within the office environment using technology. As a result, he developed Sphere Mail, and at the time it was to address the unique mail handling needs of the co-working industry in 2010 which he brought to market in 2012 and our software has since evolved to include a full suite of virtual office services for the new era of work. The presenters today are myself, I'm the senior VP with Sphere Mail and Blanca who is a, our business development director. We can be reached at the email, email addresses that you see, Linda at SphereMail.co or Blanca at SphereMail.co. And today we're just going to talk about the rise of the virtual office. And what does that mean and how is that uh, so, so prominent right now during COVID and most likely post COVID? Well, what does virtual mean? It means being on or simulated on a computer or computer network. So it's basically taking the office and presenting it in a virtual environment. When COVID first hit at the beginning of the year, uh, it basically created a fundamental shift in how we work. And I think we've all experienced that in some form or another. Basically, it pushed most of the office workers globally into a work from home environment. In March of 2020, Gartner actually reached out to uh, CFOs 
of different companies and ask them, hey, what percentage of your workforce will remain permanently remote post COVID who were not remote before COVID? And at that time, 74% of the CFOs that were surveyed said they intend to shift some employees to remote work permanently. Now, when you think about that, that was back in March. And I bet if that question was asked today of the CFOs, it would be a completely different answer. We would probably see that more CFOs would be embracing the remote work concept for more of their employees. And we're already starting to see announcements from many of the technology companies saying that they're embracing a remote work environment. From a commercial real estate perspective, as well as just from an overall office perspective, COVID has created a changing office environment. What was traditionally owned space or traditional leased space for office workers is now uh, morphing into flexible leases, flexible space, co-working, remote. In many cases, it's a matter of a hybrid arrangement maybe with remote workers sharing time between a remote workplace and maybe a co-working space or a flexible office space. But CFOs are now recognizing that resizing the traditional office footprint to a flexible or virtual model will effectively either reduce or eliminate real estate costs. So what is SphereMail? SphereMail is a business-to-business -business or B2B cloud-based software as a service platform that allows the office administrators. So within the office environment, there, there is administration that's happening. Those administrators can package and deliver virtual office services to their customers. And their customers may be internal employees, it may be external customers, it may be virtual customers. What's unique about our software is that it can be implemented in both a cost center or in a profit center with the ability to generate revenue or assign a value to the virtual office services that are being provided and recognize a revenue stream. <clears throat> so the cloud-based virtual office services that we've bundled now and made available on our platform uh, encompasses uh, mail, telephone, receptionist, and the online notary process. With virtual mail, and this is really our core uh, offering, and this is what Hassan had originally uh, developed for his co-working location, but we've basically recreated the traditional mail room as a digital service. So you can see up here, the traditional mail room still requires that physical mailing address to receive mail, still requires some labor to input that postal mail because that postal mail is not going away. It's still being delivered and the US Postal Service has every intention to continue to uh, deliver mail but uh, the mail administrator can input that mail quickly into a customer's account. And then what's really unique now is that that customer can pick up their mail online from any location with any mail handling instructions, which may include, um, hey, can you open that and scan it to me? Can you hold it? I'll pick it up. Can you shred it for me? Can you forward it to me? I'm in Hawaii working from my remote office in Hawaii. Virtual telephone and virtual receptionist are basically two additional services that are available to the end user. The administrator really does not have to administer these services. The virtual telephone is an automated cloud-based telephone number that the end user or the customer can assign from anywhere in the world and have it terminate on any call answering device that they choose. They no longer need to be hardwired to their telephone on their desk. The live answering is actually delivered by one of our partners, but we give the ability to access and activate a live answering service whereby incoming calls can be answered with a customized greeting. That's available in the US and we're hoping to expand that in the future. The online notary, we've basically taken that traditional in-person notary service and created uh, the ability to access a notary online this is also uh, through one of our amazing partners that uh, has an online service um, in place today with their notaries. So we do not have the notaries on staff, but we give the ability to connect directly to an online notary for notarization of documents, not only 
domestic documents, but international. But what was really driving this need was uh, the Postal Service Form 1583. Anybody who's in a co-working environment would recognize that form because if they are going to receive and process mail for virtual clients, then that form has to be completed and signed with identity verification either by the administrator in person or by a notary. That's the only two ways that that form can be completed. So we've integrated uh, that workflow process to complete that form with an online notary. So who could use virtual office services? Now we're talking about the end user and the customer. And this would be applicable to any small business owners, freelance workers, entrepreneurs, independent contractors. And, and those were the kind of the traditional users of these types of services. But now with COVID and with that change in the office environment and change in the workforce, we're seeing that full-time remote employees, part-time remote employees are also benefiting from virtual office services. And our security protocols uh, for our platform were hosted on Amazon Web Services on their cloud computing platform. And we adhere to the National Institute of Standards and Technology. We use the HTTPS encryption for all data transfers. Customer authentication for both the administrator as well as for the end user is via a username and a secure password. As I mentioned about the identity verification uh, in the US for um, at least processing mail is via that integrated online notary workflow. But outside of the US, we have also built uh, a workflow that confirms identity verification outside using uh, the know your customer documentation requirements, which is a standard now um, uh, outside of uh, the US. So just like to finish up with this quote, I'm a virtual worker, I'm not tied to an office. That's Hoken Zeitz, he's the chairman and the CEO of Harley Davidson. And you can just envision him saying this while he's uh, riding his Harley. But what we'd like to do is just encourage anybody who would like more information or would like a demo just to reach out to us. It's very simple. Just send an email to info at spheremail.co and your request will be uh, sent over to the sales team and one of us will be following up with you from the sales organization to speak to you and really just understand your needs or we'd be happy to just give you a live demo. So with that, I am actually going to stop my screen share and I'm going to let Blanca take over. Are you there, Blanca? There we are. Oh, Can you there me? she is. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm also trying to figure this um, <laughs> this out here. It's a little different. Um, I am going to now uh, share my screen so I can welcome everyone. Let's see here. Um, let's share screen. Um, let me just there we are. Hello, everyone. And I am going to be uh, sharing my screen now. There we are. I'm going to move uh, everyone out of the way here. Can you see my screen? I'm going to guess that you can. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Thank you for that. So hello, everyone, and thank you so much for taking the time to learn about SphereMail today. Um, we will be demonstrating a portion of the SphereMail platform to give you a glimpse of what um, its functionality and ease, ease of use is. Okay, and so um, the Sphermal platform it provides a full menu of virtual services, which include 
virtual mail, just as Linda was mentioning. Um, so to begin with, we will be um, inserting mail on the administrative side of the platform to notify members of their mail. Then we will be logging in as a virtual member to demonstrate how members make requests for their mail. And we will also review all the additional services that are available to them. So let's get started here. When you log in, you will be placed in the Mail Center page. The Insert Bulk Mail button for the entry of regular mail is the one we're going to be using today. Here you enter either the name, the private mailbox number, or the company name of the corresponding member. Once the member has been selected, there we go, simply select the corresponding mail items from the memory bank. Once you have gone through and selected um, all of the mail items from the memory bank, you would scroll down to the bottom and select the purple button at the bottom of the screen to finalize the process and to submit the mail notification to the member. Now let's log into the virtual member side of the platform. Here we go. So that you can see what the member sees when they log into their platform. As you can see here, um, this is all of the members' mail. As soon as they hover over the line item, their options to make requests are over to the right. Here, the first line, I, the first option or the first request is to scan. However, it has been grayed out and cannot be selected for magazines and catalogs. So we'll go ahead and request a forward. Once the forward is selected, the member has the option to select the type of delivery that they would like to request from the administrator. So we're gonna go ahead and select a two day delivery. And then we'll, the member would have to let the operator know what forwarding address to send it to, and then they can go ahead and select their request. Now we'll go ahead and select um, a scan request. Um, and here you can do a standard scan, we'll be at one price point. A two-day scan would be at of a bit higher price point, and a same-day scan would be even higher. We'll select a two-day scan for today. Now, the third option here is to request a hold for pickup. This means the member would like to physically come in and pick up this piece of mail. The next option here is marked as picked up. And this is in the event that there's a little bit of confusion between the um, administrator and the end user. The next request here is to be able to request a picture of the outside of the envelope. Here the member will be told how much that would cost them and they can go ahead and select that. They can request a shred and they can also request uh, to mark mail as junk mail. Now that we have gone ahead and um, made the request, we're gonna log back into the Mail Center page which is where you would be able to process those requests. To the left, you see the red um, icons. Those are your expedited requests. The regular requests are right underneath. So we'll, we'll start with the expedited forward request. You select the icon, then this will bring up all the expedited forward requests and you select on the forward icon again. On this page now, the platform will automatically have your address as from, and the member would have already let you know where it's going to. Then you would select the carrier of choice, and you have the ability to then go ahead and create a label for this uh, piece of mail that will be going out. You click on find rates, and now because the platform is, has a live connection with all those carriers that you just saw, you're then able to uh, fulfill the request and have uh, the, the uh, cost right at your fingertips. You would select a two-day request as the member has requested. Then you click on the purchase and print button at the bottom of the screen. And that will then take you to the label that the platform has created for you, which is ready to go ahead and print, stick on that package or, or, or uh, envelope, and it's ready to go out. The next item here is a request for a two-day scans. 
click on the icon and again, it will take you to a two day scan request for all of your members. You click on the scan icon once again, you go ahead, scan the document, upload the PDF and click on submit. All notifications and all charges will automatically be done by the SphereMail platform. So the next option that we're going to uh, select here will be the uh, <laughs> an envelope picture. So some members may need a picture of the outside of an envelope. So you simply click on the icon once again, go ahead and take a photo of the outside of the envelope and drag and drop the image and click submit. Once again, all charges and all notifications are, are automatically done by the platform. Um, this is a forward request, which is done just like the one on the top. However, this is a standard request. You would handle that the same. Marked as picked up. This is for those members that maybe did a surprise visit and they picked up mail and now they have it still pending on their inbox, so they want to mark it as picked up then you as the operator would be able to come in and approve and go ahead and leave it marked as picked up, reject it um, and mark it as new again or completely change the notation of that piece of mail. The next option here are pickup requests. This is for those members that physically would like to come into the location and pick up their mail. So here you, um, once again, you would uh, click on the pickup request, then you would go uh, to the line item, find the piece of mail and select the pen icon. This will then bring the ability for you to uh, collect a signature with a time uh, stamp and a brief description of that piece of mail for your records. Now the um, pickup requests often get asked like, how do we collect that signature? And so what, what happens is you just basically use another device, either a phone or a tablet, and go ahead and hand that tablet to the member and allow them to sign and click on submit. Once again, the scans on the bottom are the same as the top. And then shred requests, you um, just click on the shred request, hover over the line item, click on the shred icon once again, once you've already shredded that piece of uh, mail. Or if you're more confident and more comfortable, you can shred all everything all at once, select it all at once, and go ahead and mark it shredded all at once. So now here we are back at the uh, mail center page again. And um, that is basically how you would process mail. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go to show you what other services would be available to uh, the virtual member on uh, their side of the platform, because we do have the mail services and we have all the other services that Linda made mention of. So I will show you real quickly here. When you log in, or the member logs in, I should say, they can go to my account and then here are ad additional pages that they have access to. And this is the location where their 1583 form would be stored. Under the extras tab, they have the ability to request the following um, features. They can notarize a document online. They can request text no uh, notifications in addition to the email notifications for processed mail. They can add additional recipients to their account in the event they have additional employees. They can request bulk mail forwarding service instead of requesting shreds and scans. Um, and they also have the ability to go ahead and uh, request registered agent services. This is a different type of service done with the state. And then lastly, they have the check deposit service, which they can go ahead and uh, request as well. The virtual phone number is very simple to sign up for. You simply click on the green button, select an area code from anywhere around the world. And if you would like, um, number sequences can be requested by just typing in the number there and then the platform will give you an option of different phone numbers. Or you can simply select a toll free number if that's the preference that the member has. Once they are done doing all of this, they would go back to the virtual phone, uh, virtual phone number page 
and go ahead and um, uh, complete their sign up by setting everything up and edit or add any extensions if so desired. Additionally, they are able to go ahead and select a Sphere Phone Live answering service. They have two options here to pick from. They simply click on the subscribe button and go ahead and sign themselves up. So as you see, there are additional services that are available for, uh, for all members. And it's a very simple process to, uh, to go ahead and, and do. It's uh, very um, intuitive and very simple to use. Now I'm gonna uh, go ahead and um, stop here. Um, I would like to open the floor up for any questions um, that anybody uh, may have. Thanks, Blanca. <clears throat> the first question is, um, great product. This could work in any setting though, right? Not just co-working? That is correct, yes. Yes, this is a, a platform is very, very flexible. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have the time today, but um, in the plan section where you where the user or the administrator can create their plans, um, they the the options are endless. They can they don't have to have all of the services on the platform if they don't want to, or they can include everything. They can create packages in whichever whichever way they want for either those virtual um, members or their physical members. A lot, of, a lot of locations are going the route of uh, wanting to treat their physical members with the white glove service. And this really helps you um, fulfill that need. Next question is about implementation, how long it takes to get on board. Oh, um, anywhere from 24 to, um, 24 to 74 hours. Yeah, two to three days. Close to the end if I've lost my headset. <laughs> um, so, so that's it, ladies. Um, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. How can people um, get a hold of you? Info at Smearmail. That's it. That's it. Info <laughs> at Very simple. Yes. Yes. Thank you both. Happy New Year's. Happy holidays. Thank you for thank having you. us. Happy New Year.